Good morning, everybody. Today I will be going to oh, like zoom out now. God, today I will be going to the grocery store. But when I come back, I want to talk about my pediatric rotation. Pediatrics, yeah, child health rotation. I have not made a video in such a long time. And that's because I have been extremely busy, right? School is so fast, right? Right now, it is so fast paced. If you distracted for one second, you miss out and you fail. I don't have on my glasses because I don't know where it is. I have to look for that. But today we, we're going to be, you know, let's talk about Let's talk. Today we're going to talk. I don't have any pictures, right? I don't have any um videos to show what i was doing in peds also i would like to say thank you guys to 1000 subscribers i have 1000 subscribers on youtube now i could finally call myself a youtuber yeah yeah i can because you know i thank you so much for those who subscribe for those who support for the comments for the Instagram messages, by the way, my Instagram is Anthony Gala with extra G after Gadar. Also, is my TikTok, so follow me there, message me there if you need anything. I do respond when I do have time. So, I'm gonna buy some trees. Three boxes, $25. Obviously, I'm gonna get this. What other thing I should buy? Um, what do you think? Let's see. This? The bunch? Oh, you yeah, like the big ones, never mind. Two punch? You bought two punch before? No, but I really don't like it, but it's the only other option here that is good. Okay. So like... If you don't like it, don't buy it. Okay. Did you buy the oh, orange? Just... The apple, right? I, I bought this one already. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How about this? Alright. This is my favorite drink. And they have three for 20, so you know I'm gonna buy this. Definitely. Don't know. I don't know what I want in this aisle, boy. But now I want something. What you would want? Plantain chips. chips. Yeah. The natural one? The lighted this one? Uh, mm, no. Which one? Let me see. I like the sweet one. This one is the... Oh, the spicy ones are nice too. Spicy uh, ones. Maybe But I probably shouldn't eat any spicy food anymore, to be honest. Uh, but it's $6 a bag. This is really good though. Let me see. These, I love this. This is expensive. I'm not paying $9.99 for no nuts. Right? I'm sorry. But it just tastes good. Sorry. Sorry. Um... I love Bigfoot. Yes, you do. I really do. Yes, but I don't have any big pop, so I'm gonna just buy like two. Mm hmm. Because guilty pleasure. Do I anything on the side? Uh, no, because I got the chip combo already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, these, these look good. Oof. Wow. These. This so good. I hate chocolate. So. Oh yeah, that's true. You don't like chocolate. Did you try the coconut ones? No. No the lemon. Do you but like? But they do look good. Yeah. But this. Yeah, it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. No. <laughs> okay, I this. I don't know which one. I usually just buy digestive, but... The chocolate digestives are better than plain digestives. This is... I mean, they're better. Oh, these. This is... Let me see. Kind of expensive, too. Let me see. This is... Everything will be expensive. Student budget, guys. Student budget is like just expensive. Everything is expensive. No lie. Should I buy this? I love Twix. Or something else. Fix it nice. Let's see how much is it? 
$15.99 for Twix. It's four, four of them in here. I mean, yeah, sure. So is that is a good buy? <laughs> Put it back. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty dollars. Bum it. <laughs> Absolutely Let me not. Know. Look. Six. Look at this. See this? <laughs> see this? <laughs> look, look. Do you see that? <laughs> Insanity. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. You go on. Let's check the menu. I mean, it's a standard McDonald's menu, except a bit more chicken. What you like? What you gonna buy? I will buy chicken nuggets or a BLT. Chicken nuggets, a McChicken, or a BLT. Ooh, or a McFlurry. I don't even know what to get to be Game insanity fuck. This better. Can I book is it? Mm. Yeah, there we the go, screen. there we go, there we go. Oh. Thank you. This better tastes good. They just poured it in the top. <laughs> hey guys, I hope this thing working. I know y'all see my whole background. If it did see, don't judge me. I am very, very busy. I've been very, very busy for the past, for the past while. It's after some days since I was originally gonna make this video. Again, I want to say thank you all for giving me a thousand subscribers. Thank you all for following along my journey. It has been a long while since I have posted a video, and um, yeah, I'm just I need to update. I need to update y'all on my life so far, right? So, as y'all know, I have done peds, right? Um, pediatrics. It was, let me explain how it was in the beginning, right? So, let me explain how it is. As psych, I think y'all watch my psych video. If you haven't watched that psych video, watch it now. Well, after this video, when you're doing peds, you go into different um, hospitals and you're going into different clinics, right? So, it's two months, so it's basically two months, four weeks, four weeks, right? So the first month you do it in this hospital, the next month you do it in this hospital or clinic, right? For me, I did my first month in Mount Hope, uh, and the next month I did it in a children's assessment unit clinic. Both was very, very different. It was better to do it in a clinic and in a hospital because you get to see different variations of these, um, of different pathologies and different, you know, you meet different people with different, um, with different problems, okay? In Mount Hope, let's start off with Mount Hope. So in Mount Hope, we have a team or let's call it a unit, right? And the unit comprise of a consultant, a registrar, two house officers, um, three um, interns, and then four medical students, right? So that was a unit. That's what they call a unit or a team, right? And in Mount Hope, we saw regular pathologies that we that you will definitely um, may not come across, right? In a clinic setting. So stuff like Kawasaki syndrome, Right, many people may then I didn't even know what Kawasaki syndrome was. Like, let's look, look at here that name Kawasaki syndrome. Right, a lot of bronchiolitis with babies in Mount Hope. I saw children, um, actually, right now I'm studying too, <laughs> but um, I had to make this video. Uh, in Mount Hope, right, we saw a lot of 
difficult pathologies that things you would never see in a clinic at all right things like cerebral palsy you know um, different children with various difficult diseases cancers but I must say our team was really really um really really good our our consultant she was very sturdy you know she's very I wouldn't say she's strict but she basically she give us work to do she had gave us work to do right like she would say okay read up on nephrotic syndrome nephritic syndrome right and bet your bottom dollar she will come the next day and ask you questions about nephrotic syndrome we will go by a child because she know who children on the board and stuff like that and she will go by when we end up by a child with nephritic syndrome or nephrotic syndrome or whatever she give us to, to, to talk about whatever could be whatever asthma whatever we have a lot of asthma cases by the way she will ask us about it right and she's going to be really really upset if you do not know the answers because she literally gave us the bond the resources sometimes we used to come early to see what cases they are you know kind of trick the kind of trick the um the system a bit so we used to come and say okay um we have this child here uh we have that child there okay this child have this Let's read up on it a bit, just a little bit, just touch the service on it, just in case she asks us. So it wouldn't look bad now, you know? So, yeah, that's the things we used to do sometimes. Um, come early, see what cases are there, or see what cases are under our unit, and um, we used to read up on it and stuff like that. Now, let's talk about clinic. Clinic was completely different, right? Actually, I find clinic was more strict than Eric Williams, no lie. It was really strict um so we came there it consisted of basically the same kind of unit but it was more it had like one unit for the entire clinic remember in mount hope it had multiple units right multiple units because it's that multiple it's a big big place right it had multiple units but in the clinic only had one unit and there was only four medical students there to go there right so now we reached there and um the first day she was like hey go and cook this patient go cook this patient now let me see what you know you know it was very very intimidating like okay girl like give me give me some time now you know but we went and we do we thing we get we feedback even if it sometimes it was harsh feedback you learn you know and that's the best thing you learn you always learn from your mistakes so now let me tell you the pathologies or what we see there most times we see school fights people fight in school um they come to the clinic right dog bites was our next one a lot of dog bites eczema skin cases psoriasis those kind of skin diseases right it was nothing emergent like if it was an emergency if it's what an emergency they refer you to eric williams one time so when we were taking history let me talk about my experience now when we was taking histories right we were taking histories and a, 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 a pediatric history is very very detailed right it's very 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 detailed and you have to have always you have to have um consent from the parent first right because the, that is one field that parents would not think twice to sue your ass right they don't care people in trinidad do not care around with do not play with the children they don't right if they don't want you talking to the child they're not going to let you talk to the child you know some parents are different religions they don't want certain things out there so you have to be it's very you have to be very careful of what you what you ask and what you say and the people that you deal with in peds right especially as a medical student you don't have a license to back you up you're just a student right if you're a doctor doctor then that's a different thing i actually started to like peds because i've always thought peds was a little bit difficult you know you're dealing with kids um some kids can be really really ha manageable to handle but then some kids you know they're very very difficult to deal with and especially a sick child you know a sick child is very very difficult to deal with they are crying they are they are 
irritated they are irritable okay so my battery just died on me so all I have to say about pizza again is that it was really it was a really see how to deal with it was a good rotation just you had to know your business all right if you're doing if you're going to a pediatric rotation just now i would advise you to read start reading early right go to the wards as early as possible and see what they have on the wards under your unit right even if you're not in in this is augustine and you're in mona whatever the case may be take this advice so go early see what they have or even stay back in the afternoon sometimes logging out thank you again for a thousand subscribers thank you all for watching my video don't forget to watch other videos and i will update you on my next rotation okay thank you so much for watching this video i will see you and oh subscribe 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 that'll help me a lot and you'll be helping a little to big boys come true please hit that subscribe button and help me out let's get to a th two thousand subscribers now okay Bye!